It's the little things like this you realize you miss. A fresh croissant dipped in coffee. Oh, it's been so long. Well, a bit of breakfast before going in for a consultation with the surgeon. This is the knee and hip wing. This looks like something I'm going to get. Nice display. I can play with it. Oh, crap. I, damn it, I broke it. I'm such an idiot. Here on this display is what the surgeon explained I would get and how they would put it in. Personally, I don't want surgery details. It freaks me out. On the way back, Mike took the slow roads back. He wanted to show me a spot with a view and have a coffee. But it was Monday, and everything was closed. No need for coffee. The view was there, as was the sun. We are having an Indian summer here. What can I say? My country is sexy beautiful. In town, we went to see a friend of mine at his butcher shop. This is my friend, Ivo Mercanton. He's the local butcher and he has a saying. When he presents his uh, food and his stuff, he says, Oh la 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 la. Oh la 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> he's famous around here and he does his great food and stuff. And he's a, he's, a, he's a Facebook star now with his Oh la 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 la. Very, very good. <laughs> I follow him on Facebook. He's quite the character and his food is mouth water. Later in the week, we went for more tests at the hospital. Okay, here we are at the hospital, the shuv. Yeah, again, this time it's for the CT scan, three-dimensional scan of my hip. The place is huge, man. It's a giant city here. Voted as one of the 10 best hospitals of uh, the world by Newsweek magazine. Not bad. Hospitals intimidate me. So bright, so sterile. So everything's done. Just did a CT scan. Ask the CT radiologist lady if she saw my picture and what she thought. She's like, holy shit. What happened? What did you do? So I told her. So anyways, next thing is the rendezvous with the anesthesiologist. And that's Friday. On the way out, there was a display of past treatments. And man, that looked painful. Oish. I saw the anesthesiologist and all was good. I'm in good health and not fat. So here I am again with Mike. Waiting for uh, another rendezvous with the anesthesiologist. I wanted to make sure that I would be completely knocked out. I don't want to be awake and hear any sawing during the surgery. All set. Mike took great joy driving me around. Oh, I didn't mind. It was cool to see my hometown. How it had changed and how it had remained the same. Like the train station where my father worked. It hasn't changed, yet it's all modernized. I used to walk down the street to go to elementary school. This was my neighborhood. And I played at the end of the street in the park. And way down here was the public swimming pool. Here is one of the lake's busiest marina. 
We went to the local chandlery because I need a new bow signal light. So there's a lot of stuff here, but it's all mainly for smaller boats. Anyways, they ordered what I needed. This is the famous waterfront of Ushi. My cousin has a crepe restaurant here. It's just down the street from the Olympic Museum. This is where the organization is headquartered. It was rush hour, so we got stuck in traffic. Boy, I don't miss that. But today, with this view, this weather, it was nice to drive slow like a couple of old geezers. BK is bringing me to my brother's place. He lives further up the hill. It's precarious up there, but oh, what a view. I'll be staying with him for a while to give my parents a break. I could tell they were getting tired of me. It's really hard to be dependent on people after being so independent. And Steph, my brother, well, he has a big place, but also a family. So I can't overstay my welcome and like eat all his food like this delicious cheese here. Tonight, a very special guest is coming for dinner. A Patreon patron, my medical expert and cousin Boris. This is my uh, cousin Boris. He's also 40. 60 is the new 40. <laughs> we both celebrated our birthday this year. And Boris is responsible for getting me here, man. Do you have anything to say to add? I take, Your full, cousin? I take full responsibility for my advice <laughs> and for the consequences. Okay, so the consequences are gonna be good. We're gonna get back on Galopin. Gonna be sailing around, dancing with the girls, hiking everywhere. Thank you, cousin Boris. Love you. My pleasure. <laughs> good to see you again. Likewise, man. I have full faith in Boris and his advice. So far, everything is going in the right direction. Good thing, because the cold here hurts my leg even more. But with the cold comes its special beauty. And with that, some special visitors. Yeah, it's Lily and Peter. <clears throat> They're traveling around Europe, and Peter suggested he come and say hi. And here they are. And they could not have come at a better time. <laughs> cheese for you, Lily? Get used to it, baby. <laughs> and how about a lunch with my parents at their neighborhood restaurant, La Brasserie de la Gare in Chernet. The food is absolutely wonderful. Look! <laughs> Thank you, Felipe and Irene. And this is where I'll be staying for the weekend. I just wanted to say thank you to, to our dear son Miles here. Who's our dear son Miles. Yes. <laughs> Lovely Miles, I love Miles. Um, he's put me and uh, Lily and Peter up at his friend's house. Friend's thank you very much for the place. It's helped us out a lot. Right here in town in Vivi, it's perfect. Thank because you. Up there, up at the Stefan's place, it's, it was a little complicated and far from everything. So thank you, Miles. Peter in his shorts.
It was great to have you along in this voyage. If you enjoyed your trip, give us a like and subscribe. You really help us navigate better. Me and my boat Galapin promise you a good time every Wednesday. So welcome aboard. Mm -hmm.